Welcome to the ASMR game store. Are you just browsing today? How can I help you with anything? Yeah, the other person who called about the PlayStation 3. Yeah. So yeah, as I said on the phone, we have three in stock right now. The 20 gig, the 100 gig, and the 200 gig. So they're all pre-owned. So they're all... Well, the 20 gig is 160 and the other ones are beneath the 200 range so quite affordable right now that the PlayStation 4 has been released. You're thinking 200? Great, so we you just interested in buying the PlayStation today or that you want a few games to go along with it? Yeah, of course. Did you want a hint or do you have an idea of what you want? Okay, so what kind of game are you interested in? Okay. Okay. So, kind of role-playing games, a bit of action, adventure, and kind of mystery? Sure. Okay, you're pretty much into all of it. Well, how about... The store is pretty empty right now. I wouldn't mind having something to do. How about I give you I'll like, let's have a look into a couple of games and we can see if you're interested in Great. So there was two games you said you would definitely, you'd already looked into. Okay. So those were Uncharted and Red Dead Redemption. Okay. So are you looking for more pre-owned games or new ones? Whatever's deeper? Yeah. It's always a safe option. We have a pre-owned guarantee, so don't even worry about it if it doesn't end up working. But they generally do. So, okay. Got a copy of Red Dead Redemption here. It's new, but it's only 18. There's a pre-owned one on the shelves that we can grab out later. I think it's around $12. I must, might just show you this one. So, as this is the one of the ones you wanted, you know a bit about it. Okay, you're interested in it because you enjoy playing the Grand Theft Auto games. Yeah, this can be a bit of fun. So, Red Red Dead Redemption is based in the Wild West. And it does have a few similarities to the Grand Theft Auto. It's, um, you can um, that's kind of a little bit like Grand Theft Auto with horses and trains, which I believe that you can hijack a train as well. But it's a lot more than just random acts of violence. In fact, the protagonist, John Marston, I believe it's his name, he used to be an outlaw and a bandit, but the government kind of blackmailing him through his family, I think, to sort out some bandits in this country he's been sent to. Well, he's from America, so Wild West in America. So he's trying to be better, but sometimes it gets a little bit confusing and the game does offer you other options, but he's trying to be a good guy, and that's reflected throughout the missions. So, open world kind of game. Always a bit of fun, and I personally can't resist horses. I'm not crazy under horses, but I think it's always a fun little attachment to video games. So, you thinking this one definitely? Yep. Well, we can put the pre wind one off the shelf when we're doing the checkout process, okay? Okay. I'll just grab out and chart it for you. Okay. So, Uncharted is pretty much synonymous with the PlayStation, the PlayStation exclusive. 
And again, this one's a new one. I've got the new ones behind me mostly, but there's a pre-owned one on shop for a much cheaper price. So some people liken this to Lara Croft Tomb Raider. And it's a guy. Um, and I played it myself and there are some similarities. There's small puzzles you have to get through so you can move on to the next day. I personally didn't really enjoy this game very much. I've only probably played it for two or three hours. But it's a favourite and it comes in other reviews but it's very combat heavy and it's not particularly interesting combat. So during at least the first stage you're on an island and there's all these kind of guerrilla warfare guys kind of popping out at you every pretty much five seconds and it's just waves after waves of them. So maybe? Sure. Okay, so from what you told me I might just grab out a few you might find interesting and we'll see where we go from there. So, do you like things a little more interesting? Not exactly the norm? Yeah, <laughs> a bit of a weird custom. But you like a little bit of innovation in your games? Yeah, the normal stuff's okay too. Okay, so, you probably, you, you may have heard of this game. Heavy Rain. It's a bit of a crazy <laughs> journey. How about I read the back for you and can get a little bit of an idea of what the game's about. So it's like a mystery pretty much, a thriller. The origami killer has left the city in panic. Someone needs to take control. Play your full lead roles in this gripping psychological thriller, where your decisions have dramatic consequences and every action can affect how the plot unfolds. So, the origami killer has killed quite a few children, drama. and one of the main characters, it's fairly obvious, it's not really a spoiler, he has his child taken by the origami killer, and a lot of it is a bit like the other two in the Saw movie. He has to go through trials to prove essentially how much he is willing to do to get his child back. So it can be a little bit adrenaline inducing. The controls are quite interesting, it's not your usual like X to jump, analog stick to move forward kind of deal. You have to um, kind of move your analog stick in different ways. And press the buttons in different combinations. If you like a story, it's kind of a lot like an inter it's an interactive drama, really. Um, and if you're interested, it's compatible with the move sticks, the kind of like Wii controls that for the PlayStation. Not really sure. Uh, so does this game interest you? Yeah, it's actually a lot cheaper than this. This one's a little bit outdated. It's for a pre-owned copy, only 12. The prices have gone down so much since. So if you like the idea of that game, the same company that made it also made a similar one last year. And this, these two games I got really addicted to. Heavy Rain I finished in one day. I just needed to find out who the killer was and needed to know what was going to happen next. It's a very gripping game. At least it was for me. So they also made this game, Beyond. You can't quite see it. Her face has been blocked out. But Ellen Page 
plays the main character in this. Uh, Ellen Page is a lovely actress. She's great, great in this. And like the new technology like they use in some other recent games. Um, perfectly captures the face and facial expression. Like it, it looks perfectly like Ellen Page and it's very well acted out. So like the other one, it's a bit of an interactive drama. And you play both Ellen Page's character, Judy, and the kind of supernatural entity that she is tied with, which she calls Aiden. And you can use Aiden for mischievous and nefarious purposes. You can use him to kill people. And but you can also use him to heal people and he has many abilities that you just get to have fun with later. It's a really deeply emotional game. It's non-linear. You jump through different parts of Judy's life, which I found interesting. Um, a lot of people didn't like it. Good. You start off as a child, but you can jump way into our future within the next just five minutes. It's kind of like in levels though, so you complete kind of one stage of your life before you jump into another one. But it kept it quite interesting for me. If you can see on the back how great the graphics are. I do have to warn you that it is rated R. So that's there's a bit of kind of sexual violence in there, but nothing, I wouldn't say too bad, but there's nothing particularly graphic, it's more like suggested or threatened, and it can get a little bit scary I guess in that sense. And I think at the beginning there's an option to use marijuana if you game, but like heavy rain. It's very option based. There's, you kind of choose your own ending. Heavy rain's a lot more open. You can, if you kill a character, that's their story's finished. You don't get a second life. There's just multiple endings. And I've played through Beyond as well. And there's quite a few different endings, but the story is pretty much very solid. You can make kind of minor decisions. Yeah. Okay, are you still interested in looking at a couple more? Yeah? Great. So, another popular one. Not another one, because I don't think Beyond is particularly popular, but it's definitely a good one. Did you like that one? Yeah, that's in the yes-ish kind of fancy. too. Great. So, another quite popular one. That was my favourite superhero. Very cliche of me. It's Batman, Arkham City. I don't believe this is the first one in the series, but it's the game of the year edition, so it comes with some extra content. So in this game, Batman is pretty much trapped. The rest of the villains. But it makes it really interesting. It's like it's a little bit open world. I guess you can sit at that and you like an um grapple battle <laughs> from buildings. It's a really fluid kind of system. The combat isn't that great, but the gameplay is still really enjoyable. It took me a little bit to get into. I got rid of the combat system really rapidly. But you can unlock new moves and abilities and upgrade your armor as you ascend through the levels. Yeah. So, as the game of the year edition, you also sell it just as a basic Batman Arkham City. Okay, so the game of the year kind of content includes Harley Quinn's Revenge, which is the final chapter. The Cat Moon Pack, the Robin Bundle Pack, the Nightwall Bundle Pack, Arkham City Skins Pack, and the Challenge Pack. 
So the bundles just give you the RC essentially download of content. Um, oh, the many places that Jericho plays it so well. I think it might actually be the guy from the Star Wars series. I'm not super into Star Wars, so I can't quite remember his name. But you might know what I'm talking about. There's Harley. One of my favorites, Super Luminescence. She, um, I like her story. And, um, she used to be a psychologist in the Arkham Asylum, and she fell in love with the Joker. Um, yeah. What do you think? You like him, but maybe not this time. Yeah, you don't want to pull him on him and play. <sighs> okay, we're interested in some multiplayer games a little. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it might look a little bit childish, but it's actually quite fun. It's called Little Big Planet, and you get to play. Yeah. Attack people. And it's essentially just a crazy ride of imagination. So I think it's best to play multiplayer. And essentially you just go through all these kind of fun levels, jumping over things and figuring out little tiny puzzles and exploding things and riding jetpacks and collecting points. And it, the sack's actually very customizable. You can change it to different colours as you unlock them. And there's all kinds of fun little outfits. Uh, because you're buying the PlayStation today, we'll also be able to give you like, a $3 gift count, discount across every game you buy. This one's also 15 right now. We just uh, updated the prices today because it's the first of the month. So... We'll apologize that they're not quite right yet, but it's good for you anyway. So you like this one? Yeah? Yeah. Definitely a fun game to play with your partner, your sibling, or whatever. Okay. I've got two more games that I think you might like if you're interested. No pressure to buy. I'd just like to introduce you to them, and of course, you can always buy them at a later date and save up for them. Okay, so you said you liked a bit of mystery, and I don't think I've introduced too many of those aspects, except perhaps in Heavy Rain. So, we've got this is a pre owned, so it's $20 right now, so $17 with your discount. It's LA New. So it's made by the same people, Rockstar Studios, who made Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption. Only the main character is Cole, Cole Phelps, Detective Cole Phelps, as he sends through the ranks. Uh, he's kind of a hero compared to the characters you can play. In the other Rockstar Studio games, he's kind of anti the rest of them. He's and amidst the corruption of the LAPD in this game, it's, it's definitely a little bit different from his co workers. So, this game works that um, you can only play as Cole, but you go through cases, and as you get better or as you get more noticed, and do more high profile, high profile case, you ascend through the ranks. So there's traffic cop, which actually ends up being a little more interesting than you think it might be. And there's homicide, which I enjoyed. I've played all the games I'm showing you. Um, we think it's best that we play them and then we can give 
more qualified reviews of them rather than just holding up a game. And Arson is the last one I think you go through, and Vice, which is like the high profile kind of detective. Snappy suits. I don't particularly think I'm particularly fashionable, but it's a great game. You can you can search for clues. It's not like a point and click kind of game. It's like it's one of the best kind of detective mystery games I've played because usually they are just point and click, hidden object kind of games. But it's like the world of Grand Theft Auto Red Dead Redemption. But you're a detective, so you find clues. You can interrogate suspects, and the quality of the answers you get are determined by that. Okay, see you next one too? Great. So I'll just show you one more, and then, and then we might have a look at your controller just to make sure it's working. Okay. So. This is probably one of the best games ever, and I think a lot of people would agree with me. <laughs> it's Portal, it's the second one. And... You've had a Portal before? Yeah, it would be a bit hard as a gamer. So, you are trapped in the Aperture Science Laboratory. And in this one, you're like the only one. It's just you and Gladys. And Gladys is out for revenge for what you did to her last game. Gladys and the other the robot who's kind of your friend really make this game what it is. Like the puzzles are challenging and fun, and you get such a sense of accomplishment when you defeat a particularly But the robots really neat, they're just, it's so hilarious and sarcastic and cry. And if you like that kind of humor, you're just gonna really love this game. So, let's see you play. So you have a portal gun, so you shoot portals to essentially unlock the puzzles. But unlike the first one, you do a lot more than just solving puzzles throughout the game. I ruin it for you, but let's just say there's a little more to it. You already have this one on PC? Sure. So I'll just put that one away. Okay, so let's just check out your controller. Sure? Okay. Okay, so the only ones we have right now are black, but you get this one comes with your PlayStation. So, just the basic one. It comes with a cord, but you can play it wireless, which is a great feature because you can sit as far away or as close as you want. Yep, okay. Looks like it's in the back of the Okay. Was there anything else that I could help you with? Or do you want me to get the box? There you go, new PlayStation is in from the back. You're looking for a gift? Kind of gift. Another PlayStation game? Or another PC kind of guy? Okay. Did you have anything in mind? Okay, yeah, they really like the Elder Scrolls series. Yeah. Great series. Anything fantasy just steals my heart. So... Oh. They had all your games. And they lost them. In a fire. Well, oh. <laughs> that's certainly unfortunate. Um, I'm afraid we don't sell the really old ones, like Daggerfell. We do have... Morrowind and Skyrim in kind of separate things, but if you're feeling particularly generous, there is 
something I can show you if you're interested. is essentially, or rather is, the Elder Scrolls Anthology for PC. So, it has all of them. Like, the really awful <laughs> suit, awful graphics, but great for nostalgia purposes, or if you're super into that kind of style. So it has Arena, Daggerfell, Morrowind, Oblivion, and of course Skyrim. Do you want to check out the inside? if you want to have a look. So, there's Arena. She comes in a little sleeve. Daggerfell. So you can see how different the graphics are to something you're more familiar with. Marlin. It's uh, quite good. Probably just a slight step down from Oblivion and quite a well received game, I would. Uh, it also comes with all the expansion packs, which is good. Um, and Oblivion this comes with the pink kind of island. That's the game that originally got me into this series. But I went back and played Oblivion and that was that was so great too. And it comes with maps inside and a game guide. So do you think they'd like that? Yeah, they probably would love it. I don't see why you wouldn't. I will still be able to give you the $3 off deal. Not that that makes too much of a difference on this one. But it's still under 100 Are you a best friend? Yeah? Well, you will be spending quite a bit today, but I think I would treat myself and you guys treat others every now and then too. Gifts sorted, and so I've got your game sorted today. Alright, I'll just grab your PlayStation from that back and I can run you through. Great. Okay, I'll just hang on a sec. So beside us, I'll just run you through. Okay, so what do we got? So you want to get the Hello New Almond? Great. And you were thinking Little Big Planet as well? Yeah. And were you thinking getting both Heavy Rain and Beyond? Or just one? Hmm, which one? Heavy Rain? Yeah. If you definitely like this one, then I do recommend coming back 
think any beyond it, so it's a quite good game. Um, you think you enjoyed it? Yeah? Well, I hope you enjoy it. I'll just grab it. Were you interested in the pre render the one? Yeah, I'll grab that one for you. Just over here. And definitely the depth option as well. And I've got the pre owned one for over there for you instead. Okay, so we scanned those through. So got the PlayStation and just put your controller on top of it. Definitely gonna need a good bag for this one. Okay, so thank you so much for coming in today. I hope you got everything you wanted and I hope you I see you again soon and I hope all these games work out for you. If they don't, feel free to come back, do your receipt. And we can just return them for you. And if you play through a game particularly quickly, you can return that as well. Okay. Well, I hope you have a lovely day.